Let's cross over to uh, Giuseppe Dendice, who joins us now from Milan. He's the head of Middle East and North Africa desk at the International Studies Center in Rome. Giuseppe, good to have you on the show. Um, here are some key facts about the war in Yemen. The UN is calling it the worst humanitarian crisis. Uh, over 10,000 people have died uh, over the past 18 months, and at least 1,200 children have been killed, and another 1,700 have uh, been injured. Uh, so if the numbers speak for themselves, then why isn't the world getting its act together? Why do other conflicts and other events get more attention than Yemen? Yeah, the, as you say, this, uh, this, this war is a catastrophe. It's a humanitarian catastrophe. And uh, this creates uh, incredible uh, chaos and uh, crisis, uh, not only in Yemen, but in, in a great part of the Arabian Peninsula and also for its indirect reflect in the Horn of Africa. Anyway, this crisis, the crisis in Yemen is more undervalued uh, respect to other crises like Syria or, for example, Libya. And in a context like uh, this period uh, who Ukrainian crisis dominates the uh, international and in particular the Western narrative, Yemen is not in the top of the international agenda. But it is very important to speak about Yemen because this is a very incredible crisis. It's the worst humanitarian crisis and one of the worst crises in the world after the Second World War. Mm -hmm. um, Giuseppe, um, when you look at the, the World Food Program, which basically feeds about a third of the country's population, the reality is that they're running out of money and they're running out fast. Uh, Claire Harry in her report said that the organization only has about 18% of the funds that it needs uh, for this year. Do you feel confident that the international community will be uh, be able to step up, um, and even if they do, um, isn't this sort of sort of kicking the can down the road? In this pro in this moment, we have a great problem with uh, food assistance in general because the union crisis create a problem with the food supply chain. Uh, we need to consider that Yemen uh, have a dependence from Ukrainian and Russian wheat for a 40%. And this is one an element of the crisis. Anyway, uh, it's important to, uh, to take several measures to uh, improve it, to better the condition of the people. But it is also important to uh, allow to retake negotiation, to uh, turn to a diplomatic context in order to improve uh, talks and to create a condition to create a compromise among the other parties. Um, in the last hour, for example, we have uh, a proposal, a Saudi proposal to involve UTI and other parties of the of the conflict in a consultation in Riyadh. Yeah. Well, this is an important step, but it is also important to see how this part can reply to this proposal. Houthis refuse this proposal because consider Saudi, for example, not a good mediator, but other function consider this proposal a good way out. Anyway, it's important to create, to have a condition. Okay. Giuseppe, I want to thank you very much for your analysis. I truly hope that the, uh, the donors can actually step up, but also uh, the warring parties, like you just mentioned, the, the Saudis and the Houthis can actually come together because they're the ones who are actually going to solve this. Thank you.